Hey guys, welcome back to Alice. In the last episode, we met with Mr. Radcliffe, or what were made of the memory. And we just went to Chapter 3 right after that. So, now we're in Chapter 3. We had a health upgrade and everything. Um, over here is a bottle. Um, I don't believe there's any snouts here. Um, down here, don't touch that, obviously. But they're immune to it, so that's the uh, great part. So. Um... Up here, there is nothing. Except over here, there is something. There is a... Man, we already found three bottles. My god. No Marys, no snaps. It's just like a bottle load. Let me see. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I don't know. Um... And this is our final weapon of the game. I'd say it's the most powerful uh, right next to Hobby. It's the Teapot Cannon. It's really... It's regular, and by picking up, you get Death by Darjeeling. Now, this is like the Pepper Grinder. It shoots up in the air. It's highly effective against groups of enemies, so that's actually something... That the others couldn't do. The larger a shot is charged, the larger the blast will be. And it can be used to demolish like strong walls like the hobby horse could hoss, yeah, horse could do, and like break them down quicker from a distance. You can switch with uh the control between pepper and teapot, so you can't like just use both. You switch with this. And let me test it out. On these guys. One. Two. Two shots to kill these guys. And look, it like stunned all of them. So if you like run out of teapot shots, then you can switch to the... Um... Pepper. Anyway, um... This is also... Like the most expensive, the... If you want to try and upgrade them, this is how much, like, they cost for the first upgrade. And I'm not upgrading that either, so yeah. And right away, when you kill those enemies, the game says, Guess who came back for ya? Did you miss me? The freaking Colossal. And Teapot's pretty good on these guys. So, now you can actually take these guys down without a threat. It's not too difficult with the Teapot. And we already took down, like, every face, almost. <sighs> like, right now, I'm holding it. And he's doing that damn thing. I'll shrink. Okay, instead of running, this guy has a new trick. He goes into flamethrower mode. Use teapot. Then you just nail him with whatever you want. This guy decides to just go crazy, so now he's fighting. Crack some of his face. Now, if you're like really close to him, use umbrella and don't move. If you're like really close, so you don't get burnt, just hold the umbrella. Do not let go. Because it's very effective. I found this out by watching a video, so. I'd like to thank the person who actually had a video of this. Get some good shots in. And nothing else. Once you kill those spaces, he just does this. Nothing else. Um. Oh, crap. 
Whoa. That's why you should use umbrella in case. Because I just took some damage. And we actually killed him. And a reward is quite a bit of gold teeth and some health. So now we can actually kill them. And that's what they're going to be from now on. They just won't run. So, yeah. And that's the teapot on that. Like, you don't even have to walk up close. They can break stuff that quickly. Like, throughout the rest of the game, you're going to be using a lot of pepper and mostly, um, teapot. You can also do R3 with the teapot. Which is actually kind of nice when you want to, like, just do, uh, zoom in. Um, and you notice there's some over here, but it's not dark, and that means you have to kill all the enemies. Like, once you kill this guy... Turn around, and look! Now it's breakable. But I'm not gonna go... And we get our first memory. Um, from what I recall, I believe there's actually a keyhole. I don't know. Anyway, um... With the Colossal, he can be quite annoying now since he has that phase. That phase is probably like, uh, the most craziest. If you didn't know, like... I'm devastated. Look what's become of my beautiful valley. All things change in the fullness of time, often not the better. Like... I lost my train of thought. Whatever, I'll remember later. And we have a battle. We have this guy. Let me clear out all the enemies here first. Now, you can use the teapot and break his thing. And, like, get some shots in, just like the hobby. But it won't break break it, like the other ones do also. But it can, like, stun him in the middle of attack, which is pretty nice. And teapot, like, I think it takes three shots with the teapot to get rid of one face of his. I'm not sure. I see two. Uh, about four. They won't do the same thing they do with the pepper grinder and, like, just take and shoot it back, which is pretty nice. So now these guys aren't that difficult. They're pretty, like, weak, except... You can't shoot them when they're blocked with the teapot, which is, like, gay. So, anyway, let's shoot. No threat. But the music's still playing. So, you come over here, and... Oh, crap! Eight minutes. I didn't realize the time. Uh, see you guys in the next part. Bye.